Hi, today we're going to practice patterns and counting by twos, fives, and tens. So let's do a little bit of review on twos, fives, and tens. Let's start with two. So if I have two and we're counting by twos, what's going to be the next number? That's right, four, two more, six, eight, ten, and so on. Each time we're adding two. Now let's try that with fives. Same thing. You start with 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 5 more is 15. 5 more is 20. 5 more is 25. When we're counting by 5s, notice it goes always 5 and then 0, 5 and then 0, 5 and then so on. Always with 5s, you'll have either a 5 or a 0 when you're counting by 5s. Finally, let's count by tens. 10 and 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. Each time, go up by 10, there'll always be a zero in the ones place. So now we're going to take a look at some patterns and see if we can figure out what the missing number is going to be and see if we can fill it in. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's try this one to begin with. We're counting by twos, we can tell because we have two to four, so that's plus two, so we know it's by twos. So what's going to come after four? That's right, it's going to be six, after that, eight, then we have ten, what's going to come after ten? You're right, twelve. Now we can always check to make sure that each one of these adds up 6 plus 2 does equal 8, 8 plus 2 equals 10, so we know we're counting by 2's. Great job, let's try another. Okay, looking at this pattern, we have to figure out whether we're counting by 2's, by 5's, or by 10's. Now we have 30 and blank. I don't know what goes there, and then I have 40 up here. Now I can't really tell, so I have to look at this one here. 40 to 45, we're adding by 5's. So we know that we're counting by 5's, so let's see if we can fill it in. 30, 5 more is going to be, that's right, 35, and we have 40, 45, what's going to come next? You're right, 50. Nice work. Okay, now we have another pattern here. We have to figure out what we're counting up by. Well, we have 90 and 100, and we have a few blanks, and we have 130. So 90 to 100 is not counting by 2s, not counting by 5s, so it is counting by 10s. We've got plus 10. So if 90, 100, what's going to come next? That's right, 110. Next, 120. 130, what's going to come after that? 140. Nice work. We can check to make sure. We look at this and say, okay, 120 to 130, yes indeed, I'm counting up plus 10. I'm adding a 10 each time. Great job. Today we've been practicing patterns and counting by twos, fives, and tens. The three things to remember, always check the pattern. So check it out. Make sure that it is the correct pattern. Are you counting by twos? Are you counting by fives? Are you counting by tens? Next, add them up and review them. Make sure that you did it correctly. You can always add them up. And finally, practice. Always practice your twos, your fives, and your tens. Doing all that skip counting will help you be successful at patterning and counting by twos, fives, and tens. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.